Scientists are developing an out-of-this-world plan to preserve coral reefs by storing their DNA on the moon. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea, are essential for marine biodiversity, but rising sea temperatures and pollution are wiping them out. To save these underwater ecosystems, researchers are cryopreserving coral sperm and larvae in the moon's frigid craters. The Lunar Coral Biobank will protect coral DNA for centuries, offering a backup plan to reseed reefs on Earth in the future. With permanently shadowed lunar craters reaching temperatures as low as minus 250 degrees Celsius, minus 415 degrees Fahrenheit, they provide perfect cryogenic storage conditions. However, the plan involves significant challenges, from radiation-proof packaging to robotic lunar landings. Mary Hagedorn, a senior research scientist at the Smithsonian's National Zoo, and her team are spearheading this ambitious initiative. Curious about preserving Earth's biodiversity for future generations? Discover the intriguing idea of sealing endangered species DNA samples in a moon crater in today's video. Coral reefs, teeming with life, are crucial to ocean health. They provide habitat for a quarter of marine species and protect coastlines. However, rising sea temperatures, pollution, and ocean acidification threaten their existence. The Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system, has lost over half its coral cover in the last two decades. Ocean warming has caused severe bleaching in nearly all of it since 1998. Coral bleaching occurs when stressed corals expel algae living in their tissues, turning them white and vulnerable. Ocean acidification weakens coral skeletons and hinders their growth. Traditional biobanking methods on Earth face limitations due to climate change. In 2017, thawing Arctic permafrost breached the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, a secure biobank designed to preserve crop species. Mary Hagedorn, a senior research scientist at the Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute, noted that even the coldest regions like the North and South Poles are warming faster than any other place on Earth. The Lunar Coral Biobank leverages the moon's extreme cold to preserve coral DNA. Permanently shadowed craters reach temperatures as low as minus 250 degrees Celsius. Scientists propose storing coral sperm and eggs in these craters using techniques similar to those in human sperm banks. Cryopreservation involves freezing biological samples to near liquid nitrogen temperatures, 196 degrees C, pausing biological activity, and essentially preserving genetic material in a frozen state. Lunar craters, among the coldest places in our solar system, are ideal for this purpose. This approach could allow scientists to revive coral reefs on Earth with stored genetic material, restoring lost biodiversity. The Lunar Coral Biobank faces technical and logistical hurdles. Radiation-resistant packaging is needed to shield the frozen samples from harmful solar radiation. Robots might be necessary for crater placement, as astronauts would find navigating the ice-covered floors challenging. The project would require international collaboration to establish governance and choose a location. NASA's development of dog-like robots could be instrumental for navigating the lunar terrain. Additionally, scientists aim to test the biobank concept on the International Space Station, ISS, before a lunar mission. However, time is tight as the ISS is set to retire in 2030. A successful lunar biobank could serve as a long-term insurance policy against coral reef extinction. Another concept by Jek and Thanga involves a lunar arc containing cryopreserved seeds and genetic material. Thanga's plan calls for storing genetic material from 6.7 million Earth species in lunar lava tubes, requiring 250 rocket launches compared to the 40 needed for the ISS project. Thanga's proposal highlights the immense logistical challenges of a lunar biobank. Yet both his and Hagedorn's initiatives share a common goal, safeguarding Earth's biodiversity from climate change. Implementing and maintaining a lunar coral biobank presents significant governance and logistical hurdles. Placing the biobank on the moon necessitates international agreements on governance and collaboration. Estimates suggest that sending samples for 6.7 million species would require 250 rocket launches. While NASA is planning future lunar missions beyond human landings, technical specifications are still being finalized. Thanga's proposal for storing samples in lunar lava tubes would demand substantial funding and global cooperation. Hagedorn's plan also requires securing partnerships and funding for ISS trials and finalizing packaging needs. Governance is complex, 
encompassing decisions about location, travel logistics, and transparency. Despite the challenges, the urgency of implementing a lunar coral biobank cannot be overstated. Technical hurdles include developing radiation-proof packaging to shield samples from solar radiation. Samples must remain at cryogenic temperatures for centuries. Robotic exploration will be vital due to the challenging lunar terrain. Encasing the samples in radiation-proof packaging is crucial due to the moon's lack of atmosphere. The packaging must also maintain cryogenic temperatures while being durable enough to withstand extreme lunar temperatures and radiation. Robots will be essential for transporting and installing the biorepository in permanently shadowed craters. Overcoming these technical challenges could pave the way for a lunar coral biobank that secures the future of coral reefs. Critics argue for prioritizing Earth-based conservation over space-based biobanking. They believe that protecting natural ecosystems here should be our primary focus. Focusing on biobanking could divert resources away from vital conservation efforts. Conservation strategies like reducing pollution, protecting marine habitats, and mitigating climate change. The Lunar Coral Biobank offers an innovative solution to preserving Earth's coral reefs amid the climate crisis. By storing coral DNA in the moon's frigid craters, researchers aim to safeguard these underwater ecosystems for centuries to come. Though challenges lie ahead, including radiation-proof packaging, robotic lunar landings, and international collaboration, this ambitious plan could be a game-changer for marine conservation. Critics emphasize the need for terrestrial conservation efforts, but the Lunar Biobank serves as a crucial backup plan. It can protect coral genetic material from the devastating effects of climate change and give us the ability to restore reefs on Earth in the future. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you won't miss out on our future subjects.